Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Square root of x plus x equals 3. What I'm going to do is to show all the steps that you need in order to be able to solve this on your own or to solve a problem that looks like this. Now, how do I want to deal with this? My first target is to remove this square root from here. So, I would rather make the square root of x the subject. So that this will now be 3. This goes there to become minus x. Now, remember, we are trying to remove the square root. And to remove the square root, it means that you square it. Because square root and square are like opposite. This will now be equal to 3 minus x. And then whatever you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side. So that the question or the equation will not be changed. Now this is going to go with this. Now x is equal to... What we have on the right here means that you have 3 minus x in two places 3 minus x this is what this means now we open the bracket so that x will be equal to 3 times 3 is 9 3 times minus x is minus 3x minus x times 3 is minus 3x as well then minus x times minus x will give us positive x squared now this means we have x equals 9 minus 6x plus x squared minus 3x minus 3x will give us minus 6x. Now we have a quadratic equation but we still need to bring this x together. So to do that I will start by writing x squared first and it will be equal to Okay, not equal to self. If x squared comes, this is minus 6x. So we have minus 6x. Then this is coming to meet with the other. So it turns to minus x. This is 9. Still where it is. So we have plus 9. Then everything is now equal to 0. We have x squared minus 6x minus x. That will give us minus 7x plus 9 and it's equal to 0 now we have a quadratic equation we can solve this equation by using the the formula method to deal with it but the question is what is the formula before i give you the formula we have a b c in the formula a is a coefficient of x squared and it's 1 b is a coefficient of x and it is minus 7 and then c is a constant in the equation and it's 9 so we write 9 over there now what is the formula the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now let us substitute into the formula x will now be in place of minus b you have minus minus 7 because b is negative 7 then plus or minus as we have b squared which will be negative 7 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 1 and our c is 9 so whatever that we have we divide by 2 times 1 because a is still 1 x now becomes negative negative we keep positive so we write 7 plus or minus then we have minus 7 squared that will give us some 49 because negative negative we give positive now we have minus 4 times 1 times 9 is 36 
So we write 36 over here. Then everything is divided by 2 times 1, and it is 2. So to continue from here, our x will be 7 plus or minus 49 minus um, 36 is 11. It's 13 rather, so we write 13 over there. Because 13 plus 36 is giving us some 49. Now we divide this by 2. Square root of 13 cannot be simplified because there's no perfect square that's a factor of 13 apart from 1. Now our x from here is um, 7 plus square root of 13 over 2 or we have um, 7 minus square root of 13 over 2. So we now have the two solutions to the equation. But the question now is, will these two solutions satisfy the equation? So for us to check that, let us um, get the decimal value for root 13. So x will be 7. Square root of 13 is approximately 3.6. Then divided by 2, or 7 minus 3.6, then divide by 2. If you add this, we have 10.6 divided by 2, or subtract this, we have 3.4 divided by 2. Now, x is equal to 10.6 divided by 2 is 5.3. Then on this side, 3 divided by 2 is 1, remember 1, making this 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7, but it's a decimal point. So x is either 3.5 or 5.3 rather, or 7.1.7. Um, now, from here you discover that both of them cannot satisfy because the two values are positive. So let's go back to the equation. I want to write it here. We have square root of um, x plus x equals 3. Okay, so this is what we have. I want to do it over here. Now, our x is 5.3. Let me put 5.3. So if I put 5.3, then I have square root of 5.3 plus x is still 5.3. Three. Okay, you can see that. And from the look of things, this alone, 5.3, is already more than 3 on the right-hand side. So, this value of x will be rejected because it does not satisfy. Let's work with 1.7. We look for square root of 1.7 plus 1.7. Will this give us 3? Let's try this okay so square root of 1.7 is approximately 1.3 then plus 1.7 and this is giving us 3 okay approximately 3 now this means that um, this value of x 1.7 is very satisfying